Here we have an electromagnetic spinning half motor. Now before I explain why the coil is spinning, this thing right here, I want to explain how it was created. Here we have our main event, which is the coil. This is held up by metal paper clips, which is then put in place with this paper straw. Connected to these paper clips are these insulated wires, which then go to the battery. This battery um, connects the wires by this rubber band. Now to explain why the coil is actually moving. So this coil was actually sanded. And when I say sanded, I mean I took a piece of sandpaper and scraped off the enamel, as that's why it looks silver. And the reason why I did this was so that I could have a metal-to-metal -metal connection. And the reason why it needs to have a metal-to-metal -metal connection is to create an electromagnet. Now, this battery here creates electricity that goes from the wire to the paper clips and then to the coil. The magnet's importance is to create a magnetic field. See, if we were to take the magnet away, the coil would stop spinning. But as soon as we put it back, it starts spinning again. The magnetic field is created when an electrical charge is in motion, which we can tell by the spinning coil. Electricity goes through this battery into the coil, correct? So, this electrical field that was created tries to align with the mag magnetic field, which is the big um, magnet here. So, when this field tries to align with the big magnet, it actually pushes the coil over. The last thing I want to explain is why I called this an electromagnetic spinning half motor. The reason why it is a half motor is because when the paper clips come into contact with the non-sanded side, it is no longer a motor. This is for the reason being that electricity needs to go through um, a, a conductor and the coil no longer becomes a conductor once um, the paper clips come into contact with the non-sanded side. The reason why it continues to spin and spin and spin though is that the coil is pushed over enough to go back to the sanded side and so the coil continues this process of spinning and spinning and spinning.